The way scoliosis surgery has changed in the last 20 years has actually been um, extraordinary. In the late 90s, the uh, complications for even a simple teenage girl scoliosis surgery were pretty high, but there was a revolution in the techniques in terms of the kinds of instrumentation we use to fix the scoliosis, and also our understanding of the disease process such that that average teenage girl scoliosis now has a very, very low, low complication rate, very, very high correction, um, very high patient satisfaction. It's one of our most popular surgeries. Anytime you hear the, the words minimally invasive, it sounds exciting. And for pediatric scoliosis surgery and adult scoliosis surgery, there's some big exciting changes in kids there's certain curve patterns where we can fix them without peeling the muscle off the spine at all. So we can do three little incisions or two little incisions and fix the scoliosis. The very fast recoveries, two or three days in the hospital, back to school in two to four weeks. And then I've had kids back to doing full gymnastics programs in four months. So that's a very, very exciting advance in pediatric and adolescent scoliosis surgery. Oh, a young person after scoliosis surgery should expect to go back to normal activity. Almost all curve patterns, uh, the patients are released to full activity. And the nice thing about scoliosis surgery, especially thoracic curves, these patients will be back to being normal in three, four months in terms of activity level and pain. You have kids back to elite sports, elite gymnastics, college swimming, college soccer, within four months after uh, getting one of these thoracic curves fixed. And adults, those minimally invasive techniques um, play more of a uh, partial role. So doing things like putting cages in through minimally invasive techniques has been uh, realigning the spine with those minimally invasive cages. Those have been the ways that minimally invasive surgeries made these really big, complicated adult scoliosis reconstructions simpler, faster recovery, and better for the patient. Scoliosis uh, programs are worth traveling for because there's just not very many of them. If you look at the, the data, the medical data on what produces an expert, whether it be 10,000 hours or 10 years of experience in a particular field, that kind of experience only happens if a physician dedicates himself towards something like scoliosis. And so about 40% of our patients travel from outside of Austin or even outside of the local area to come see us because it's hard to find that expertise, sometimes even in other states, find a scoliosis program that's experienced with complex pediatric scoliosis, minimally invasive scoliosis surgery, flat back surgery, people who've had multiple failed operations. Those are things that we're experts in, and so people travel to come see us all the time, and I think they're traveling for the experience and the results.